Item number, SCP-7997, Level 3 Confidential, Containment Class, Keter, Disruption Class, Kenick, Risk Class, Warning. Assigned Site, Area 150, Site Director, Adelaide Worth, Research Head, Dr. Ezekiel Yang, Assigned Task Force, X-2 Unto Caesar, Special Containment Procedures, the Department of Procurement and Liquidation will attempt to acquire all outstanding debt and the entirety of shares of SCP-7997 in a gradual process. The Departments of Financial Esoterica and Tactical Theology will perform continual risk assessment during this process. If no adverse anomalous effects are detected, liquidation of SCP-7997 shall proceed post-acquisition. The anomalous effects of SCP-7997 corporate votes and agents shall be subject to ongoing misinformation campaigns. Description: SCP-7997, or The Company, is Brackestone Shoe Polish Company, a publicly traded specialty shoe polish manufacturer which achieved apotheosis on July 23, 2021. SCP-7997 was founded in 1977 in the United States of America as a specialty provider of high-quality shoe polish for fetish footwear. The value of the company is uncertain. SCP-7997 does not have a quoted stock price on major equity exchanges but was listed as over-the-counter pink sheet stock starting in 2009. SCP-7997 is illiquid. Share trades on average four times a year at prices ranging between $1 and $10. Over 60% of SCP-7997 is owned by corporate officers, or C-suite, of the company. The remaining 40% is estimated to be held by several hundred individuals, such as retail investors and former members of the company. SCP-7997 has avoided regulatory scrutiny for the majority of its existence due to its small size, specialized industry, and minimal use of thaumaturgy. Footnote 1. Per SEC Rule 033-I, corporations that emit less than 500 caspers per year are not subject to regulatory reporting requirements on any thaumatological rituals used. 1,000 caspers per second is usually necessary for successful ritual activations. Therefore, the exact processes that led to SCP-7997's apotheosis are unknown. JTI Kai-2, Unto Caesar, a joint task force of the Departments of Financial Esoterica and Tactical Theology, theorized that internal SCP-7997 corporate processes, employee actions taken on behalf of the company, or a combination of such fulfilled the criteria to serve as an apotheosis ritual. The nature of these actions is currently unknown. It is believed that the apotheosis of SCP-7997 was not an intentional decision by members of Brackestone, but rather the result of a series of random fortuitous events. SCP-7997 possesses a metaphorical font of divine power, referred to in various cultural traditions as Numen, Kami, Mana, etc. This power can be exerted locally for a wide variety of reality-warping applications, but over extended ranges, the power can only be exerted in relation to SCP-7997's domains. SCP-7997's spheres of divine influence appear to be shoe polish manufacturing, fetish gear maintenance, and naphtha distillation. Footnote 2. Naphtha, a petroleum derivative used in shoe polish. For example, employees of SCP-7997 are capable of reconfiguring their workspaces at will, for example, matter synthesis and manipulation. However, outside of the SCP-7997 primary office and specialty shops, the matter manipulation capabilities of SCP-7997 have only been detected in cost-free dominatrix boot repair and anomalously efficient petroleum distillation. The Foundation is aware of several corporations with anomalous capabilities. The internal functions of SCP-7997 are opaque. SCP-7997's classification as a deific entity stems from qualitative comparative analysis. The internal structure of SCP-7997 remains corporate. It has not adopted the characteristics of a church, temple, or other religious or otherwise non-corporate hierarchy. 
CSCP-4985 for examples of an anomalous corporation with significant cultural alteration. The previous corporate culture of Brackestone Shoe Polish Company has been preserved, including self-professed, quote, long-standing values of, quote, speaking up. No new indicators of corporate malfeasance have been detected post-apotheosis. SCP-7997 does not appear to have agency of its own. SCP-7997 possesses a divine godhead, but does not appear to have a greater agenda beyond the goals of its corporate officers and shareholders. Unlike SCP-1442, there is no evidence SCP-7997 is sentient. SCP-7997 has achieved new spheric dominion over the process of shoe polish manufacture with minor dominion over other related domains. The most immediate effects are that all 70 employees of SCP-7997 become abnormally knowledgeable and competent with regards to aspects of shoe polish manufacture pertaining to their job titles. For example, production line engineers develop an innate sense of how many batches can be produced daily, and accountants are aware of the exact market value of shoe polish at any time. However, this knowledge is not retained upon departure from the company, suggesting that even if employee actions were involved in SCP-7997's apotheosis, the divine power is vested in the company itself and not in the individuals comprising it. After witching hour, 12 a.m. to 12.59 a.m. local time of July 3, 2021, thaumaturgically potent corporate actions performed as part of the corporate functions of SCP-7997 stopped producing any residual EVE radiation. Footnote 3. Spectral radiation emitted by thaumaturgical acts. Instead manifesting irregular akiva. Footnote 4. Particle associated with deific and religious entities. Bursts. This is analogous to a Mage King or God King phase transition, in which a humanoid reality bender or thaumaturge. Footnote 5. Type green or type blue under GOC Unified Thaumatology terminology. Achieves apotheosis and becomes a divine entity. Footnote 6. Type black under GOC Unified Thaumatology terminology. Liner et al. 2009. The following table defines common terms in corporate finance and explains observations of these functions in the context of SCP-7997. Term Employee Conventional definition An individual hired by a business to perform specific duties as part of a job in exchange for compensation. SCP-7997 Function Individual employees perform functions associated with SCP-7997's domain. Each possesses a minuscule fraction of SCP-7997's power that can only be applied for purposes associated with their job duties. For example, SCP-7997's logistics representatives increase the efficiency of petroleum distilleries they order raw naphtha from, and public relationship managers produce repair instructions for specialty adult equipment that violate conservation of mass using divine power. It remains unclear whether employees are consciously creating anomalies. Term C-Suite Officer Conventional Definition High-level executives, responsible for corporate strategy and management. SCP-7997 Function Corporate officers of SCP-7997 are endowed with a greater proportion of SCP-7997's power and are capable of exercising this power in less predictable ways. They can be viewed as analogous to intercessionary saints or deific epithets, and are capable of performing, quote, miracles. For example, Brackestone CFO Sally Tarafino recently anomalously increased the demand for Brackestone shoe polish without also decreasing price, in violation of the law of supply and demand. Footnote 7. Financial esoterica specialists would like to note that this is not evidence of anomalous activity in and of itself, but is included for contextual purposes. Term Bonds or Debt Conventional Definition A company borrows money by selling a bond and promises to repay the amount borrowed along with a contractually defined interest rate given by a fixed schedule with a defined endpoint. A bond owner is a lender to the company. In the case of bankruptcy, bondholders are paid first. SCP-7997 Function Holders of SCP-7997 bonds display increased brand loyalty, an intensely personal relationship with the company, and an extreme reticence to sell the bonds. 
These bonds continue to pay a financial coupon as normal. By analogy with corporate finance, SCP-7997 bonds may convey ownership of SCP-7997's divinity, thus explaining Holder's deeply personal relationship with the company. To date, it is unclear if this analogy extends further. Term Stock or Equity Conventional Definition Shares of ownership of a company A stockholder is entitled to a company's earnings, liquidation proceedings, or voting power proportionate to the number of shares owned. SCP-7997 Function Owners of voting shares of SCP-7997 may direct larger applications of SCP-7997's divine ability. To date, this power has been used to grant executive compensation in the form of longevity and good health, make wearers of shoes polished with Brackestone products walk 10% faster, and erase a competing shoe polish brand from collective memory. Addendum Most Current Research For internal distribution only. SCP-7997 Working Documentation JTF Kai-2, Unto Caesar Provisional Lead Dr. Ezekiel Yang, Financial Esoterica SCP-7997 Further Avenues of Research SCP-7997 is currently a unique phenomenon. However, the stochastic condensation of its apotheosis suggests that another such event could occur without prior indication. Though the failure of such an event to occur for the hundreds of years since the birth of the modern corporation suggests it's incredibly unlikely. The brand recognition of Brackestone is extremely limited. Despite this, traditional academics and business leaders have already begun to notice its anomalous performance. Embedded Foundation assets in academic and trade publications have rejected multiple papers analyzing SCP-7997. It is believed that nobody understands how SCP-7997 achieved apotheosis, and business process security policies have prevented detailed investigations. By a stroke of good fortune, Brackestone Shoe Polish Company does not have a dedicated division for esoteric market research. However, we believe that several major corporations, several of which are experienced in augmenting their competitive advantage via esoteric means, are currently attempting to recreate corporate apotheosis. Previous corporate meddling in esoteric affairs has had significant adverse effects. The 1999 deconceptualization of all ingestible liquids except for a proprietary soft drink was achieved without the benefits endowed by divinity. Should a corporation with the experience and will to exploit divine power successfully attain apotheosis, a CK-class restructuring scenario would likely follow. It was fortunate that the SCP-7997 phenomenon happened to a relatively innocuous company. Further research will focus on adopting reliable existing deity management procedures developed by the Department of Tactical Theology for corporate deities. The following are under ongoing research. Joint Task Force Kai-2, Unto Caesar, comprised of subject matter specialists from the Department of Financial Esoterica and the Department of Tactical Theology, have provided a set of hypotheses to these corporate phenomena likely to arise during the course of containment. As this is a developing containment matter, several corporate events have multiple speculated theological analogies. Term Subsidiary Conventional Definition A company owned or controlled by a parent company. SCP-7997 does not have subsidiaries as it is a relatively small company. SCP-7997 Theorized Function 1. Avatar or Incarnation A deity taking material form. However, SCP-7997 may already qualify as an incarnation of a deity. Research is ongoing on whether any existing gods of shoe polish manufacture, fetish footwear, and or naphtha synthesis have recently taken incarnate form. 2. Demigod The part divine offspring of a deific entity. A subsidiary of SCP-7997 would presumably have dominion over increasingly specific subsets of shoe polish manufacture and or fetish footwear and or naphtha synthesis, or have dominion over these domains within a certain geographic area. Term Embezzlement Conventional Definition A type of financial fraud. Someone entrusted with a company's funds misuses them for non-authorized purposes. SCP-7997 Theorized Function It is unclear whether misuse of SCP-7997's resources is possible, 
As no embezzlement or similar crimes have been reported to regulatory authorities since July 3, 2021. Theoretically, such acts may result in divine retribution. Injuries suffered by individuals related to SCP-7997 are currently being monitored. Term Corporate Raid Conventional Definition An entity buys a large stake in a corporation and then uses shareholder voting rights to influence the company to take measures to increase share value, often at the expense of long-term company prospects. SCP-7997 Theorized Function It is unclear whether a conventional takeover of SCP-7997 is even possible by non-deific entities. Should a deific entity attempt to take control of SCP-7997, the resulting conflict is theorized to be akin to theomachy, or war amongst gods, after which the loser is often sundered and cast into darkness in traditional narratives. Footnote 8 Tactical theology specialists know to the extant alternative archetype of the dying and rising deity may lead to unforeseen complications. Term Financial Default Conventional Definition The failure to pay back a loan or a bond in accordance with its contractual terms. SCP-7997 Theorized Function Should this come to pass, holders of SCP-7997 bonds will likely feel a sense of abandonment. It is extremely unclear what circumstances might cause this. The company might cease to exist in a traditional bankruptcy, or the deific entity of SCP-7997 might abandon its domain. Until more is learned about the nature of SCP-7997, nothing conclusive can be said. Term Liquidation Conventional Definition The process by which a company is terminated. The assets and property of the company are redistributed to other entities, and the company ceases to exist as a legal entity. SCP-7997 Theorized Function 1. The divine essence of SCP-7997 arises from the possession of a material asset, and the new owner of it inherits the apotheotic state. As the Foundation currently possesses several such assets, the acquisition of an additional one is not expected to have adverse effects on the Foundation's metaphysical status or impose undue burdens to containment. 2. Successful Deicide Thank you guys so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to level 4 patrons Lesby Friends, Alexis Zagrate, Everborn, and Joe Light. And a huge shout out to level 5 patron Doomsday LLC Prince and Design, and level 6 patron Totally Not a Femboy. If you would like to see your name at the end of my videos, see my videos early, and get some other cool perks, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.